Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB Show 18. So we have new set eight packs, and the exclusive player in this one is All Star Flashback Carlos Ruiz. So we're gonna open up a 20 pack bundle, see if we can get that diamond player right there, or just any diamond. Maybe get our first one for the year. And then we're gonna go over some of the new content that dropped today. There's the All Star Summer event, as well as a program for that, and some new cards in Battle Royale. I guess events also. We'll, we'll go over the events cards and the new ranked season cards. So we'll open up this 20-pack bundle first and see if we can get anything good out of it. So in our topper, let's see what we got. We got three silver players, Jerko, Eikhoff, Eikhoff, and Castillo, which is nothing crazy. But set eight, could this be the pack for us? Could this be our lucky pack where we finally pull a diamond player? Probably not because our luck has been absolutely terrible. But any jerseys we get, I'm fine with that. And we get some bronze players here. Actually, right now, like any card we really get, especially if it's a bronze player, is good. Because we can just put them into the career arcs and the mortals for exchanges. Try to get those done. But as far as that goes, let me know what you guys are grinding for for the mortals. And which ones you're trying to get first. I haven't really done anything yet for that because I haven't had time the last couple of days. So I'm going to try to get someone... Or at least, you know, a couple people done maybe this weekend or, you know, heading into next week. But we're going to get on that grind pretty soon. So far, these packs have been pretty dry for us. We get some more bronze players. No one's that's even really that good, which kind of sucks. And actually, yesterday I was playing I was playing a game. And we got Adrian Beltre as an after-game reward. So that was pretty good for us because he goes for like 14, 15k. Literally, that's the best card we've got in in packs and not that he was a pack he was an after game reward but especially as an after game reward like that's the best card for an actual reward that we've gotten all year that's not like within a program or something like that so that's kind of crazy if you put it in that perspective and it just shows like how bad our luck has been and for like after game rewards i've had di i've had like five diamonds pop up and never gotten one of them yet right now we still got some bronze players so we're halfway through and these packs, they're they're terrible. <laughs> they are absolutely terrible right now. We get some more bronze players. We can't even see a goal player. Like, I would be fine with another goal player. Or our first goal player. Not another one, because we haven't gotten one. But I would be fine with a goal player. At least if it's someone that goes for a good amount of stubs. We get a diamond baseball. I mean, that's like the only diamonds that we can pull is diamond souvenirs. So that kind of sucks that it is a baseball. I mean, they can go for... You know, a couple a couple hundred stubs. Maybe that one goes for like 600. That's what they normally are around. Some of them hit over 1,000 if it's into a good uh, career arc. But we actually get two silver here. Sadly, our best pack probably right here, Fulmer and Mazara. So we got six packs left, and these packs are not looking good. We get some more jerseys, which I wish I at least got bobbleheads. Those would, might be better for us. We get Max Scherz or a silver rookie card, which doesn't really go for that many stubs. And in this pack, it doesn't look like anything good. Another silver player, Paul DeJong, which is not bad. I mean, silver players are especially good for right now for these exchanges. And we don't really have to go out and buy any other players. We got Ron Braun right here. And we got three left. Three left. Let's see if one of these three can hook us up with a diamond player. Most likely not. Most likely not. Two packs left. We get another gold jersey. Actually, Red Sox jersey is pretty good right there. Red Sox is definitely a good jersey. And we go to our last pack. This is it. And we get nothing. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, these packs are so bad. We're going to open one more. Kind of like doing 21 packs. Just for, just because. So we'll see what we get in this last pack. And it's not going to be anything good. We get a silver player right there. Or a Posada. All right. So our packs were trash. Let me know what you guys got in your packs. But let's go and check out. What else is new? So we have programs, kind of. We have this All-Star Summer program, which actually looks pretty easy. So we have an All-Star Flashback Clay Buckholz that we can get. He has 91 stamina, 80 hit per 9, 71 K per 9, and 58 walk per 9. So hit per 9 number is okay. 79, 71 K per 9 number is okay. That walk per 9 number is kind of low. And then he has a 93 fastball, 88 cutter, 92 two-seam fastball, a 78 12-6 curve, and an 81 circle changeup. So he has good pitches. But I don't think his stats are really that good. But that's one of the cards you get. The second card is at 50%. You get a Joe Panic card. And this has 93 contact versus righties. 82 versus lefties. 
46 power versus righties and 36 versus lefties. So good contact numbers. Power numbers are kind of low. And then he has 94 vision. So one of those players with high contact and high vision. And then he has silver fielding, 84 fielding, 57 arm strength, 80 arm accuracy, and 67 reaction with 56 speed. So like the rest of those numbers are okay. But that is the Joe Panic card. And then at 80%, you get a Mark Melanson card. He has 25 stamina, 88 hit per 9, 80 K per 9, 96 walk per 9. So for a closing pitcher, the hit per 9 and K per 9 numbers are good. Maybe not the best, though. Like, like they're not elite. I would say 90 plus, but, but they're still good. They're definitely good. And 96 walk per 9 number is very good. I think it could be a solid card. And then he has a 93 cutter, an 82 knuckle curve, a 94 four seam fastball, and an 87 splitter. So no, I mean he has the knuckle curve, but he doesn't have a changeup, which might have helped him out a little bit. But he still has some solid pitches. And because of that walk per nine number, I actually think it could be a solid card. So this looks like a good diamond to have. And then the main reward from this program is an all-star legend, Tony Gwynn. He has 122 contact versus righties, 114 versus lefties. 36 power versus righties and lefties, and 117 vision. So he has amazing contact numbers and vision. Probably could have been a career arc or maybe even a mortal if they went down that, that road. But he has a very good hitting stats minus the power. And then diamond fielding, 87 fielding, 90 arm strength, 86 arm accuracy, and 86 reaction with 86 speed. So this is a very good card. A very good card. I know like power is the meta. But besides that, like, this card looks very good. And hopefully, you know, being a contact hitter, he can be able to produce. But I think this is a solid reward. And just looking at the missions, you get a free all-star right here. That's the Clay Buckles. We'll redeem this one real quick. But just looking at these missions, they're not really that difficult. I think this is the easiest diamond to get into game. And you don't really have to put any stubs into it unless you don't have the 50 all-stars. So we actually do have... 50 all-stars so we don't have to put any stubs and they did release a batch of new all-star players just in case you don't have this but most of these cards you should be able to get if you've been doing team epics or just like the positional programs you should be able to get a good amount of all-star players right now we have everything that we need so we're just going to redeem this we did have like the andrew mccutcheon i caught that and put him on the market real quick so we don't lock him in so everything here we can just lock in they're all sellable players or players that we can't sell so we'll lock this in real quick and that puts us up to 21 percent so that's pretty nice and then the events you need 10 home runs 10 event wins 10 event wins so that's pretty easy you got 27 days to do that and there's going to be three events that go on this next upcoming month then you need to get 10 home runs this is during the home run derby pretty much so you got a 72 hour mission i think 72 hours is enough time to do it the only thing is because this is limited if you're not here during those three days then you won't be able to do it obviously but if you're here very easy mission to do then you have an al hitting game one game you got to do this in five extra base hits 10 runs and three stolen bases shouldn't be that bad it shouldn't be that bad just lock in or just put in american league players and you should be able to get this done in one game. Play at like Coors Field, maybe Shot Park. A, a good hitting park that you can actually score in. Then you got to do it with American League players for pitchers. That's to get one win, two holds, one save, and ten strikeouts. So that should be pretty simple if you can get the hold. Because if, you, if you're winning by a lot, it's kind of hard to get the hold. You might have to let the CPU score some runs. And then the NL is the same thing. You got to get five extra base hits, ten runs, and three stolen bases. And then for NL pitchers, one win, two holds, a save, and 10 Ks. So these missions are very easy. And that's that. So we actually got 20%, right? So we can redeem this Clay Buckles. Let's actually see if he has a mission. Does he have a mission that we have to do with him? It doesn't seem like it. So don't got to do anything with him. We'll redeem Nationals Park. That's where the All-Star game is. That's why they give out that card. And then we have an All-Star pack. So we'll open up this pack too and see what we can get out of this. Like I said... They did drop a batch of new players. So we'll go over that list actually. But let's see what we can get in this all-star pack. See if we get someone good. We get 83 Devin Mezzarocco. Eh, it might not be bad. Might not be bad. It's a catching card. So we'll go see right now in the community market. See what new cards that they release. So we got to go to all-stars right here. And we'll see what that Devin goes for. 
But let's see what players are new. This is a Carlos Ruiz that is in the packs. I'm not really going to go over all these stats because I think there's quite a few all-star cards that got released. But he has good contact numbers. His power numbers are not bad. And then he has 87 vision. So it's a good hitting catching card, I think. It's, it's definitely solid for a diamond player. Not the best diamond catcher, but it's solid for sure. And then he has good fielding stats. Gold fielding with 30 speed. I think it's a solid card, but there is better catching cards out there. What else we have? So here's the Zach Britton. This is part of the event that is going on. I don't know if it started today, but the, the first event that's going to go on for this, you know, summer event, the reward is a Zach Britton card. So this has 108 hit per nine, 87 K per nine, and 68 walk per nine. So pretty good hit per nine numbers. K per nine numbers pretty good. That walk per nine number is not bad. The only bad thing about this card is he has a sinker, a slider, and a four seam fastball. Only three pitches. Doesn't have a change up. You know, a big off-speed pitch that could help, but it's still a good lefty, and it's a closing card. Then another event reward is going to be this Ben Zobris card, and he has pretty good contact numbers, especially versus lefties. His power numbers are not bad. 73 and 74 is pretty good. 69 vision is okay, and then he has gold fielding, but he's a utility player. He can play second, first, third, short, in the outfield, so always a good option because of the amount of positions that he can play what else do we have that looks new i don't think irvin santana is new this justin smoke is new so 83 overall card high contact versus lefties pretty good power versus righties and it's not bad versus lefties with 63 vision and then bronze fielding plays first base but it's an 83 it's an 83 card from 2017 all-star it doesn't look that bad and he's a switch hitter so I actually I do pretty good with Justin Smoke, so we might be we might be trying this card out definitely because he looks like a solid gold card. Next we got Devin Mesoraco. We pulled him. He's actually going for like 7.5k. We might end up selling him because I don't need him. I don't need him. So for a gold card, his contacts versus lefties is pretty good. He has pretty good power versus righties, and it's not bad versus lefties and 53 vision. So I think it's a solid gold card. It's, he has bronze fielding for a catcher which is okay, and then 37 speed, but uh, overall, it's not bad, it's not bad, I think it's a solid hitting card for a catcher, next we got this Darren O'Day, another relief pitcher, 91 hit per 9, 95 K per 9, those are pretty good numbers right there, with the 79 walk per 9, got the slider, 4 seam fastball, sinker, and a changeup. so he has that submarine motion, definitely a solid card right there, then True Pomeranz, from the San Diego Padres, he got this version this year. I think he had like an A's version last year. This one's a starting pitching card. Has 84 stamina, 85 hit per nine, 84 K per nine, 51 walk per nine. So hit per nine and K per nine numbers are pretty good. Walk per nine number is okay. Nothing crazy. And then has a 92 fastball, 80 knuckle curve, 86 cutter, 86 changeup, and a 90 sinker. So I think he has some pretty good pitches. We'll see how he actually does in game. So Azdrubal Cabrera. He has pretty good contact versus lefties. His contact versus righties is okay. Same without power. And then 71 vision. So he has silver hitting and fielding. I never get how you get silver hitting and fielding and then get a gold card. But it's, it's an okay card for shortstop. Then we have this Sunny Gray card. Has 95 stamina, 81 hit per 9, 63 K per 9, 68 walk per 9. So he has pretty good hit per 9 numbers. K per 9 numbers kind of low. Walk per 9 numbers okay. But he has a 94 fastball both fastballs an 87 slider an 82 knuckle curve and an 88 changeup so it's a good starting pitching card for a, actually no it's, it's not that, it's not that good it's an okay card then we have Joachim Soria this is actually this was one of my favorite cards last year so we might have to pick up this card he has the 84 hit per nine 85 k per nine 76 walk per nine those numbers are pretty good and then he has a 92 four seam fastball an 85 changeup an 88 cutter 81 slider and that nasty 69 curveball so definitely a card that maybe we pack in one of those all-star packs but definitely a card we will probably eventually get and he goes for like 8.7k right now which is not bad and then we have this jackie bradley card so he looks pretty good or he looks decent against righties he's not that good against lefties and then 56 vision but he does have diamond fielding stats so fielding wise he's a solid option hitting wise obviously better versus righties then we have jason kipnis so this is a 2013 version of this card Pretty good contact numbers, 69 versus righties, which is okay, 88 versus lefties, which is pretty good, low power numbers, 62 vision, and then he has silver fielding, 
which is okay with 68 speed but most of these all-star cards i mean they're all gold players so they're good options but obviously i think for like gold cards there is better options i think matt moore has been in the game and stephen wright has been in the game here's the Irvin santana card 94 stamina 72 hit per nine 78 k per nine and a 75 walk per nine so 95 fastball 84 slider 87 changeup and a 94 two seam fastball not a bad gold card not a bad gold card for a starting pitcher but whenever you have like 80 and above hit per nine and k per nine numbers like those numbers are really important especially now with these much better career arcs coming out and immortals so i don't know who's going to be using this card but if you're grinding like missions and stuff it's not a bad option so those were the new all-star cards that came in also part of the all-star event then we have the new battle royale rewards first one is yogi berra has 103 contact versus ready 70 versus lefties 71 power versus righties and 51 versus lefties so i would say he's good against righties because a high contact power number versus righties is not bad and then he has 125 vision so that's the highest vision you can have that looks pretty good but i don't think it's a good card versus lefties and then diamond fielding stats 94 catcher I, I, I don't think I would say he's the best catcher, Co you know, comparing it to the Diamond Piazza, the Diamond Gary Carter, even Jorge Posada, maybe Yadier Molina. I, I don't know if I would go after this card for a flawless reward, but 94 Diamond Catcher right here. The other flawless reward is Miguel Cabrera. This card actually looks pretty good. This one might be more so worth it for a flawless reward in Battle Royale. He has 101 contact versus righties, 92 versus lefties. 102 power versus righties and 77 versus lefties and 82 vision. So, I mean, he's a pretty good hitting card. Pretty good hitting card, especially versus righties. Versus lefties, he's definitely solid in 82 vision. Then he has silver fielding, can play third and first base. Pretty good card right here. I would definitely say this is a pretty good card. Then the World Series award is Dave Parker. So this one has 105 contact versus righties, 95 versus lefties. So great contact numbers. Then 77 power versus righties and 63 versus lefties. So power numbers, they're okay. It's definitely, you know, it's a good number versus righties. Lefties, it's okay. And then 81 vision. So I don't know. I, I, I thought like this kind of card for him, he would have more power. But it doesn't seem like that. I think it's a solid card. Not, not worthy of a 92. I, I don't know if I would say he's a 92 worthy. The fielding, I think, really carries him. He has diamond fielding stats, 67 speed which is not bad. I don't know if it's worth it for a World Series reward, but I think it could be a good card. And I think that's it. I think that's it for like the World Series and Battle Royale. This is another one of the events that's going to be going on. And this Jose Batista card looks pretty good. 80 contact versus righties and 102 versus lefties. 98 power versus righties and 108 versus lefties. This card is going to be pretty nice. And he can play first, third, and the outfield. Has that nice numbers versus righties very good versus lefties he's gonna be a great hitting card and then he has gold fielding for his tier which is not bad 67 fielding 94 arm strength 78 arm accuracy and 68 reaction i think you can actually use him in the infield especially in third base for that option so this is a pretty good 92 diamond card i would say so that's pretty much it for all the new content that is gonna be released i have the developer q a right here that talks about some other things so let me just show that on screen real quick as far as new things especially for next week next con for content next week they're planning to have new content on tuesday july 3rd ahead of the 4th of july holiday so look for a counter update ticket counter update which is pretty nice because ticket counter has been pretty weak this year plus all-star equipment and set nine with a collector program that features a 95 overall diamond player so that could be pretty big right there. And then there will not be a roster update next week. And then June monthly awards are scheduled to be released on July 9th. So that's when we can expect that to come out. We have the Immortal event, which will be the reward for Jose Batista. So that's one you're not going to want to miss. That one starts July 10th, it seems like. And attribute updates. The next one will be Friday, July 13th, leading into the All-Star Weekend. And then the last real update right here is since immortals are being discovered, will they be in battle royale? And the answer to that is yes. So that is pretty much it for this update. It's not bad. You know, we definitely got the career arcs. I mean, that's kind of part of this update, the career arcs and the immortals. 
So that's a good part of the update. The All-Star Summer Event is pretty nice because that Tony Gwynn card, very easy diamond to get. And then we have three consecutive events, which the rewards are not bad. So it's going to be worth going after some of those. Set eight packs, we didn't get anything good. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. We got all that, new Battle Royale rewards, new Ranked Season reward, which will probably come out Saturday because I think that's when the season ends on Saturday. I think it's going to start 3 a.m. Eastern on Saturday, or I guess that would be Sunday, or maybe it ends at 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. Eastern. I don't know what, what time it ends, but that next season will be starting on Sunday for sure. And, and that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think about everything here in this update. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.